Hi, this is a member of the, obviously, of the Rose family. This is, of course, Rosa. This is a hybrid um, um, tea rose, but it shows basically more, most of the important features that you're going to find, at least in the genus Rosa. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the leaf. This is a composite or a compound leaf. There are actually three leaflets that make up this leaf. And if you look closely at the base, can you see this? I'm going to bring this closer. This has a little, uh, at, at where, the, where the petiole or the stem of the leaf meets the stem of the rose, there's a little extra tissue. It's, it it uh, has you know it on either side. It's called a stipule, and this is very characteristic of of this genus. Also, can you see the number? There are these are the sepals, the green sepals, and there are definitely and there are five of them, which is very typical. And if you look very closely, right at the point at which the stem meets the rose itself, it swells out. It forms a, a swelling. That's called the hypanthium. And that actually is a little cup that uh, allows you, uh, has, has a, a, a plays a very important part in how the various parts of the flower are uh, uh, arranged on in this rose. Of course, these are the petals. There are many of them. We show that on our thing with the infinity mark. So basically what we have here is a rose. Now I'm going to try very hard to do a lot of longitudinal section through the flower. That's this way. I'm going to go right this way, cutting it through, and I'm going to cut it through, and I'm going to kind of try to cut it through, right through where that meets the, the, the hypanthium. Okay, let's see what I've done here. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. And now, okay, it gives you a pretty good idea of what's going on there. For example, now, can you see this closely? This green, see the green here? That is what I, that's the hypanthium and it forms a cup. It looks, sort of looks like a V at this point in here. And if you look, the sepal here is attached to the top of that cup. And then so are the petals. See the petals all around in here. And then we get to up in here, and these are the stamens. There are many stamens. So there are many petals, there are many stamens. And they are attached right at the top of the hypanthium. But inside the cup of the hypanthium are the pistils. And there are, again, many, many pistils in this flower. Okay? And they sit in that cup. Consequently, they're considered superior because they are sitting on top of all of the other three uh, series. So let me see if I can kind of plug, get, get out of here and get some, uh, well, I don't know, see where I'm going to do this. I want to get, I want to show you, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the, these petals. Incidentally, the petals are a little bit clawed. If you can see, they do come down to a narrow point. They're typical they're the, of, of, of this family. Uh, other members of the family are, are the important fruits uh, that we eat. Apples are a member of this family.
pears, peaches, um, uh, ne you know, nectarines, uh, apricots, um, and then the berries, strawberries and raspberries are part of this family. Now, can you see out here all of those, that all of that outer ring, those are all stamens there, okay? Can you see that? And then inside here are all of the pistols. And I'm going to see if I can't get some of those out of there for you to just see the individual. Here we go. Now, can you see? I'm uh, right over here. I'm going to come move my camera a little bit down, I think. Uh, okay, how's that? And over here, then, these are the pistols. And there are many, many of those. And the pistol, individual pistol, consists, if I can give you one, get one, one of them here. There's a, there's a decent one. Tiny, doesn't it look small? There's, there's the ovary, the style, and then the top is that kind of yellow. I guess shows better here. This one is a little bit more obvious. You can see that. And then, of course, I'm going to try to show you some of the stamens. And there they are. Can you see those? Those are the stamens there. Okay. There's the anther, and there's the filament. So that's what makes up the rose.